combat is Savat with knockouts. You see a lot of this and this. Asso is Savat with touch contact. You see more of this and this. Oh hi, I'm James and you're watching my training camp as I prepare for the World Savat Cup for clubs in Austria on the 7th of October. My immediate plan is to push forwards, but you can see I don't much like it in close and I'm jabbing back out. I'm picking up some good kick points here, leg, body, and by staying on a front foot, at least I'm stopping John from pushing me back like he did last week. He's trying to corner me here with the chasse frontal, but I just about managed to escape inside it and throw my right leg again. Yeah, trying to rely on my jab to take me forwards. Uh, I'm waiting for you to comment how bad that right hand is, by the way. I, I can see my weight's entirely off, but John's powerful, it's tough work advancing on him. I think I've, I think I've seen what happened there. That little escape inside is working better for me. Watch when John throws a, a left leg, often I'll move to my own left to escape. I tried it there, it didn't quite work. That one. That's working nicely for me. Do it again. Uh, when I didn't do it as much, I got tagged. Yeah, so I'm just getting caught up in these punch exchanges rather than actually doing something smart. But that one was better. That was the inside and that set up the right hand a bit for me. Uh, John's responding well here though. That was a good hit to the body. This is the second round. Again, I'm starting inside to try and set up my right leg. There's a rear chassis. We don't often see that in this round, but what point for later? I've got a bit more energy, I can see in this round, and I'm throwing that right leg with a bit more conviction. Useful to try and stop someone who wants to advance on you like he is. Right leg, that was a good movement offline. That's helped me out, and I'm pushing forward a bit better in this round with my extra energy. High right leg, more confidence, I like it. I say it myself. That was just us being nice to each other. That was a close to the groin shot. Okay, I checked his chassis frontal with my foot there. You can't check with your shin in Savat. And that's gotten John backwards, but no, nah, faint was never gonna work. There's another chassis and a right leg. This is pushing towards the end of the round. Who's got the last bit? Inside escape, uppercut. Glad I got that to work. Check the chassis again. High right leg. That's what I was trying to do. That's what I was trying to do. But he's got me here. Yeah, yeah, that hook told me um, game was up and I had to negotiate my way out of the corner rather than fight it. Your point, John. I don't normally do hard rounds like that. So when I got home, a bit of ibuprofen, cold water, off to bed. The light is fading and the weather's not good. I thought it was important to get out here, do some work. You'll recall I'm having trouble pivoting my support foot for lead leg kicks. Well, Matt from South Africa suggests leaving the support foot at 90 degrees and not angling the foot. I'm trying to use it here, but whether it's from 24 years doing it the other way or not finding the side on position sufficiently balanced, I don't think I can use this as a solution. Uh, that's definitely my issue, Thanks Matt for watching and for thinking along with me. Front leg is your jab in Savat and you should read the interesting comments between me and John Johnson. He was asking whether Fwiti or Chassis is the Savat jab equivalent. That is which is thrown more often as the probing kick. By my thinking a jab has to have two qualities, low energy to throw and a low defensive cost in so doing. That way you can use it frequently as a range finder or a probe and you can miss a lot of them without it disadvantaging you. Front leg fuetiba or chasse lateral bat are good jab candidates in Savat. You might find more fuetie being used in comba where the momentum helps them out and more chasse being used in asso where it can stop an opponent without hitting them too hard. Once you've found your range you can use the chasse as a platform for the other strikes. Taking an L for leg here, chassis into punches, chassis to fuerte media, and into spinning over lateral. Dude, dudism suggests you, you know they get you 
to read these out just to make yeah. you sound silly. You know that. <laughs> Suggests using chassis frontal, and I did think about that a couple of weeks ago, but I haven't tried it out yet in sparring, so maybe I'll do that on Thursday. Chassis frontal is perhaps less usable as a jab, as the rules on trajectory mandate using quite a bit of lower back and hip effort to get it to work. You also can't move with it quite so well, but I'll have a go and see what I make of it. By the way, thanks to everyone around the world who's following and thinking this through with me and sending in your tips. Comment below with what you think and I'll see if I can put it into practice next time. Because I enjoy it. You'll notice I use that word enjoyment quite a lot when I'm describing my sparring and I have found that if you take enjoyment as the aim, aiming for that internal sense of harmony or flow, it does improve the quality of my sparring, the technical quality, because I see more openings and I'm more creative and it's a nice way to spend your time. Enjoyment as an ultimate aim or goal also aligns with research because it's an internal goal which means it's more controllable and it's a positive one which is better than an avoiding one let's say negative don't do this or don't step backwards when i last saw this man oh wait no his, his name's not on the front his name's on the back he told me how much he was enjoying his training at the moment and this stuck with me how much he was enjoying looking forward to getting his hips replaced so when I saw these images come up on Facebook a few weeks later, I thought, he meant it. Nicola, this is a shout out to you. Keep on enjoying our sport. I know that people enjoy training with you. From one injured recovering saboteur to another, enjoy those new hips, mate. I've flirted with using enjoyment as the ultimate aim when I'm sparring, when I'm fighting, as I'm doing my sport. But... I kind of like this answer as well. In Robert Persig's classic book, which, he asks, you do not associate with the orthodox body of Zen Buddhist practice, and uh, it's not particularly factual on motorcycles either, he claims that peace of mind is the ultimate aim, and that which adds to peace of mind is good motorcycle maintenance, that which subtracts from it is poor maintenance. This makes a lot of sense to me when I think about my sport and about the times I've had in it. The test of the machine is the satisfaction it gives you. There isn't any other test. If the machine produces tranquility, it's right. If it disturbs you, it's wrong, until either the machine or your mind is changed. The test of the machine is always your own mind. There isn't any other test.